What's up guys, in this video I'm going to break down how you can become the ultimate man by focusing on 7 things that will make you very attractive to women. Alright, so let's take a look at what exactly these 7 things are. Here's a list in no specific order. Number 1, we have get a decent place. So a lot of guys who are considered you know, to be good with girls are actually living in their mom's basement. So are some dating coaches for that matter. So you don't need to have a mansion, you don't need to have a penthouse, but you need to have a decent place in a decent part of town. It can be so that when you invite your friends or girls over, they're ashamed to come over like, ooh, I don't wanna get fucking robbed, or oh shit, like this is so out of the way, you know, why the fuck does he live, blah, 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 right? It should be a somewhat decent location and a somewhat decent place. It can be with roommates, that part is fine, it just can't be with your parents. Number two, we have become financially independent. So you see a lot of regulars talking about this. Oh, you got to level up your income to become high value. So the thing with income is unless you're being a sugar daddy and you're leaving with your wallet, you are going to get to a point of diminishing returns, right? So, you know, if going from, let's say 50,000 to 100,000 may give you a tangible benefit uh, in terms of girls a little bit because you can probably afford to live in a nicer place, blah, blah, blah. But going from 100,000 to 200,000 will give you less benefits and going from 200,000 to 400,000 probably won't give you even any benefits, right? So you get to a point of diminishing return with that stuff. So you just need to get to a point where you're financially independent. So that means that you can afford everything you need. You can afford to go to this club. You can afford to take a girl on this date. Nothing is really off limits to you because of finances, you know, within reason. Now, what exactly that point is, is going to heavily depend on where you live. Like in Eastern Europe, it's going to be completely different than it is in New York City, right? So again, it's, it could be 50,000, could be 100,000, could be 150,000, it'll be somewhere around that, but you do need to get to that point of financial independence. And furthermore, ideally, you want to be to a point where you're not dependent on someone else, where you are, let's just say, the boss of your own financial future. So that could be either being self-employed or being completely indispensable to your company. So that means there's no way your company can fire you. So if you're like, hey, I need a week off, they can't say no to you because there's no one who can do exactly what you do. If you're someone who's easily replaceable, then you have no financial freedom, right? Because as soon as someone who's willing to work cheaper comes along, you can be disposed of, right? And that means you don't have stability. So that's basically the point on that. You know, it means again, you can afford to go on vacation when you want to. You can afford to travel when you want to. You can also get the time off right? Because you are someone who's important. You're not someone who your boss can just make work 100 hours a week. Number three, we have get your body in order. So you can't be a true player or the ultimate man if you're either chubby or you're too skinny, right? You need to be in good shape. Again, you don't need to be a bodybuilder. You don't need to be super jacked. But when you take your shirt off, guys should be like, oh, damn, dude, you're in good shape. And girls should be like, damn, you're sexy, right? That's the kind of impression you want to have. And if you take your shirt off and guys are like, hey, bro, you hit the gym, you're not at that point yet. Right, so yeah, so it's important to get your body in order. Number four, we have get your grooming in order, right? So it doesn't mean your your face your facial hair shouldn't be like super sloppy, or conversely, you have no facial hair and you look like your 12-year-old prepubescent boy, right? Your hair shouldn't be a mess, it should be nicely trimmed. Now you don't have to go to the barber shop every day, but once a week or once every two weeks, you should be going to a decent barber shop and getting your shit lined up nice and easy. And for example, if you have pimples or you have problems with your face, you get that stuff cleared up, right? If you're someone who's losing hair, either you take Take steps to get your hair back or completely shave your head off. You're not in that weird, I'm balding, I'm losing hair type of look. Number five, we have get your fashion in order. So again, fashion is like money. You get to a point of diminishing returns. Now, if you're super fashionless, just like if you're super broke, that's going to be a disadvantage. But once you get to a decent place, right, after that's diminishing returns. So you don't have to wear, you know, super stylish clothes that are super expensive. Look at me, like these pants. $20 on Amazon, shoes, $150, shirt, $40, $50 each and M, right? But my clothes fit me well and they match. Like I got the black shoes that matches the black shirt and you got like the white pants, right? It's contrast and colors. It looks decent. Again, not super stylish. You know, no one's gonna be like, oh yeah, Alex has the best style ever. No, right? But you know, my clothes sit well on my body. They're not too loose. They're not too tight. They're not dirty. They don't have holes in them. And that's basically, you know, what I mean to get your fashion in order. Number six, Get your social circle and friends in order. Basically get a decent social circle. So what does this mean, right? You can't be a high value guy if you're a complete lone wolf and you don't know anybody. If you were to throw a birthday party in two weeks, who would come, right? That's, that's the question you should ask yourself. And if it's gonna be either nobody or a bunch of losers, 
then you need to work on your social circle. Now, it doesn't mean that you need to hang out with like famous people or like, you know, celebrities or YouTubers or anything like that, but you should have some cool friends so that, you know, when you introduce your girlfriend to your friends, you're not embarrassed. You're not embarrassed of introducing, you know, someone that you're interested in to your friends because they're gonna embarrass you, right? They're friends who are actually gonna add value to your life and to your social circle and not conversely, right? So that's what that's what means. And number seven is learning game. So you can have one through six completely mastered. You can be a rich dude who has fashion in order, you know, great head of hair, great body, everything's awesome, but you know game, you're still not gonna be the ultimate man because you're gonna fuck up most of your dates. So you, the learning game means you have to be able to open girls, you have to be able to approach girls, you have to be able to flirt with girls, you have to be able to hold a conversation in different situations, you have to be able to hold a conversation with one girl, with two girls, with a mixed group, right? And also you can close girls. So if you go on a date with a girl and the girl's into you, you can take that attraction and tra translate it into a positive outcome. Like you sleeping with a girl, you dating the girl, and you bring her into your life. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable. And the eighth most important step of becoming a high value guy, becoming the ultimate man, is smashing that like button, hitting subscribe, and clicking the bell for notification. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time.